Hi. Okay. So, I don't do videos. I don't do YouTube videos or anything like that. But, hi. My name is Jane. And I'm a fangirl. So, I don't know if anybody is even going to watch this or anything. But, I am 23. And obviously, my main fandom is Supernatural. I mean, I have the giant Jensen signed by Jensen on my wall. I got my shirt. I got my fan merch. Um, and 300 episodes, man. That's unbelievable. I can't even comprehend how awesome this is where it can last so long to make it to 300 episodes and not be boring. Basically, the reason why I wanted to make this video and why I made a YouTube channel was because I've kind of gotten a bit lazy recently and don't feel like venting out my feelings and doing long, long soliloquies and stuff like that about why I love certain people and why I love fandoms and books and just things in my life. So I figured why not put it in a video. I've been told for a long time that I'm a people person. I work in retail so you kind of have to be. And that I should start vlogging or make my own blog or do something like that because I have a lot to say and I just I bore people and I annoy people a lot now because I talk to the same people I talk to my mom I talk to my sister some of my best friends um, but the reason why I'm doing this video is because yes I just mentioned that Supernatural just hit 300 episodes there in season 14 and just got picked up for season 15. Okay, so here is my story. I, about four years ago now, I actually had to look up when season 11 premiered because <laughs> Netflix had to put Supernatural on it all the seasons. And so my friend wanted to get me into the Super Hulock fandom. I never wanted to watch Supernatural because I thought it was too scary. And it w just had gone on for so long. But my friend, Savannah, she pressured me into it. And I have been a conner ever since. I started it since I made it just in time, caught up the day that it premiered on October 7th, 2015, if I'm correct. And so about seven months before that, I had started watching it on and off. And uh, we had a big viewing party at Savannah's house, and we I hadn't had any merch yet or anything, so I was just sitting there just in a regular t-shirt and jeans where everybody else is decked out. And I fell in love with it. Like, I was so in love with it. I was in love with the characters. I was in love with the story, the dynamics. And I hadn't realized yet that I would fall in love with people. Like, not romantically, but the SPN family. I... I've been a part of so many fandoms. Uh, of course, there's that the Harry Potter fandom, which is everywhere. That was probably my very first one. They were my bedtime stories growing up, so of course I was obsessed. And then I got into a bunch of different ones. I went through the Twilight phase. Not very proud of that. Um, I Mortal Instruments. I mean... Divergent. I don't even know all of the things that I've been through now. My most 
popular ones right now are probably definitely Supernatural, still kind of Mortal Instruments, and Yuri on Ice. My friend got me into anime. Um, but the thing is, I, I never got into like an online community or anything because I was always told people on the internet that can be sketchy, you never, I, I mean, and I was, there was that bit in my mind, it's like internet friends aren't real friends. That is a load of bullshit. Pardon my French. <laughs> um, I have made so many friends through this fandom. And I've made people that I will know and love for the rest of my life. And who have helped me through the hardest times. And it's hard to even believe that I've only been a part of this family for like three-ish years. Because I started going to fan conventions. About, um, I my first convention was the Supernatural Convention in Jacksonville in 2017. And I went with Savannah because she got me into it. And, oh my god. It was the greatest experience. Yes, these conventions are so much money. But, it, it, there's something else to it. I've been to three conventions now, and my most recent one, I really only went because I was there with a vendor that I met, who's one of my best friends now, and I was a vendor with her. I didn't do m really many photo ops or anything, but it didn't matter because I made so many friends, especially being a vendor, you make friends. I got to meet one of my favorite YouTubers, Alana King. I'll put a link in the description to her uh, channel. <laughs> wow, I can't believe I just said that. Um, <laughs> but I, I don't know. I, there's just something otherworldly when you go to a convention. The, these conventions, uh, Creation Entertainment, they run them. They do a whole bunch of different conventions. They do um, Stranger Things, Once Upon a Time, General Hospital. I mean, they do so many. <laughs> Sorry about my dogs. Um, but the way that it's organized is it's tight-knit and you feel safe because it's not very big. It's always in a hotel and it's you're surrounded by so many people that are willing to help you, that are willing to take care of you. That's how I met my, who I call my con mom, Rochelle. She runs um, along with another friend that I made at the Orlando Supernatural Convention last year, um, Stephanie. They run a, um, a business and a, a booth uh, called Undercover Geek. It was originally called Rochelle's Therapy, but Stephanie kind of like took over, rebranded, did social media and all of that. And it's, I've talked to them for so long. And I have so much jewelry like this. Let me give a close up of it. Pardon my terrible camera. Stephanie made this. If you look at the middle, it's probably very hard to see, but it says choose freedom. And the wings are, represent Castiel's wings. And when I saw this at the their most recent convention, I had to have it. And I kept telling Rochelle all weekend how badly I wanted it. I wanted it for an, a photo op with Rochelle uh, with Rachel Miner, and she ended up giving it to me as a Christmas present. I have so much. I mean, I'm gonna have to do another video just for my Supernatural merch. And just my supernatural everything because I have spent so much money on this kind of stuff, but I honestly do not regret it in the slightest. And these cons, 
if you're ever hesitant to go to one of them because of the money, find a way. Even if you just go one or two days, find a way, talk to people, go on Facebook and join groups for the different conventions, and people will help. I mean, that's how I've made all these friends. I've done charity work because of um, Misha Collins's um, Gish Wiz or Gish now. I've done charity work. I've done acts of kindness that I don't even think of. And that's because of this. And with Jared, he has his campa campaign, Always Keep Fighting, AKF. And that broke me. I have battled with depression and anxiety, like very severe, my entire life. And my first convention, literally a week before, I was not in a very good place. I was in a very bad place. And if I wasn't able to go to that, I don't know what would have happened. There is a booth there, and it's called I'm Alive. And basically you can write little notes, and they, they can decide whether, uh, or you decide whether that you want it posted on their like little wall thing they have there, or if you just want to confess something. So that's what I did. I confessed. And it took a weight off my shoulders. I have a necklace from another vendor um, called Posh Geekery, and it says AKF on it. I got a matching one for my mom because she loved it so much. And I can honestly say this supernatural fandom, this family, has saved my life. I've gone through really dark times and especially some friends that I've made within the last year. They've cheered me up and those of you that know and have chronic depression, you know that it's not just about making you feel happy. It, that it's a medical condition and that it, you have to get through it on your own. I mean, medication helps, but you have to get through it on your own. But there are things that help, and I found that uh, through people in the AKF campaign through stories that Jared have, has told at panels, and through just my friends that I've made. I'm in a group chat now uh, with a bunch of people, like half of them I haven't met, but the other half I recently did. And we just talk about our lives, and it, we all bond over the same thing. And that's supernatural. It's... Like I said, I can go on and on forever. I, but back on topic, it's the 300th episode. I have seen stories, I've heard stories from people. Um, I've been the shoulder to cry on at conventions. Um, for so many people that this family has, has touched, and it's not just the actors. Yes, you want to meet the boys because, I mean, they are very, very attractive. <laughs> I'm not even going to lie there. They are very attractive. I couldn't look Jensen in the eye. Um, but those first timers where I was a first timer not too long ago, what you don't realize, enjoy every aspect because... I wasn't going to make this video about conventions. I was doing this to just say how Supernatural has affected my life. And the people you meet and the relationships that you make, those stick with you. You may not think that. You may think just getting somebody's Facebook or um, their, te their phone number to text them different things throughout the con, um, or like their Snapchat. 
it, that it's nothing. It's just another person. That's not the case. At least not in my experience. I have never met so many warm people in my life. And I've been surrounded by amazing people. I mean, my mother, I love her. I love her so much. She is my rock. She is... She's everything. And my sister, my older sister, of course we didn't get along growing up, but now she's my best friend. And, but now I have a second family. Oh, I promised myself I wouldn't cry. Oh, great. <laughs> but all fandoms have a name. Like, for instance, for the Mortal Instruments, the, the Shadowhunters TV show, the main actress, she calls us angels. We don't really have much for the book series, but it's mainly like Nephilim and things like that. Um, there's Potterheads for Harry Potter. There's um, Whovians for Doctor Who. And... I think the greatest thing that came out of this was whoever came up with calling it the supernatural family. Because that's what we are. We're a dysfunctional, crazy amount of people. We're some of the weirdest people you'll ever meet, which is the best thing. That's the main gist of what's supernatural means to me and what it's done to with my life I I can't thank the creators and Jared and Jensen and Misha and everybody enough because without them without their dedication without their time and effort for these cons and I don't know where a lot of us would be or if a lot of us would be at all. And I just, that's this video. I know that I went off topic a lot and I know that I rambled, but that's me. And that's why I'm making this video. Anyway, so I might add a second video just for fandom stuff or just another one to rant. But I'm going to sign off, I guess. I don't, I don't do this YouTube thing, so <laughs> it's literally recorded on my phone. But if you're watching, thank you. And if I decide to make more videos, go ahead and click subscribe. I mean, ring the bell, I guess, whatever all these different YouTubers say. But... Uh, leave a comment below if you've felt anything like I have for this family. And just thank you for taking this almost 20 minutes to listen to me talk. Alright, bye.